Hi, this is Carlos Reyes uh, from RC Advisor again. This is the uh, the completed build of the third prototype of the Picadol, which is uh, a half a pound. Um, it used to be a flying wing, now it's a joint wing. So anyway, I just finished putting this together, and it's looking really hopeful. Let me let me hold it up for you. Um, in fact, this is I just finished it, so it's ready to go. Uh, I made a few, and this is this is the half size version. So there's a couple of changes that that I made, but it's it's pretty faithful to to the half size version. Uh, Tore all up flying weight. It, uh, I think it's 6.2 ounces. So that's that's really good. Uh, here's the uh, the first prototype. This one was uh, I don't know was it nine nine and a half ounces. So so about three ounces more. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely bigger. You know, it doesn't have the big hole in the center. But what really happened is that, you know, this one is a joint wing. So there's actually two wings on there. This one is just one wing. So when you have only one wing, you're talking a much bigger cord. So I actually I, I ended up doing three layers. You know, the leading edge of this one is three layers. So it's very sturdy, but it's also very heavy. It's about six ounces just for the airframe, airframe. and you know. So this this is trade off there. You know, with this one, is two joint wings, and so so they actually. I'm, I'm actually at the lower limit of of the size that I can make them. You know, if, if you watch my previous videos and read my previous articles, you know that I was struggling to to have it fit on one sheet of foam board, and this one this one fits. But the cord here is about six inches. You know, this is the same thing uh, here. I guess if you you, know, you will have to measure it like here because it, it actually have a, a slot and you know different things going on. But six inches when you have two layers of foam board, which is three sixteenths, uh, that works out to like about six point two five percent thickness, and that's about as high as I want to go. Uh, for a model this size, you really don't want to go uh, much much thicker than that. Um, you know, I'm using the same power system as as with the first prototype, so I expect this one to have a ton of power. Uh, in fact, you know, 6.2 ounces is is actually a little bit less than the Modify um, design, which is you know the subject of, of my second book, and 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 that one had unlimited vertical, so. Um, so this is this should be um, lots of power. I let me show you the back side. I again I use the the three sixteenths square for the motor mount. You know it's a stick mount. Um, no, this is more than three sixteenths. So uh, what is that? It's uh, I don't know. I think it might be quarter inch. Let me see. Uh, I know. You know th this is the one that's three sixteenths. So this one, it's um, no, it's not. I know it's not quarter inch. It's more than that. So anyway, it's a uh, one, two, three, eight. Okay, so it's double three eighths. This is three sixteenths, and that this is a single three sixteenth square dowel that's going from basically wingtip to wingtip, and that that worked out really well. Now you know I had to kind of cut a notch in here, so I will just just tweak the dimensions a little bit so that it is a better fit. Um, as far as the control surfaces, I'm trying something new just to see what happens. But I, I did what I noticed with that first prototype is that you know the propeller is right here. So there's no prop blast on the elements. Okay? So so you know of course that one was a real floater so it was flying really slowly and there's no prop blast so it got to be a little bit mushy. Uh, and I'm I'm like okay let me let me supersize the control surfaces you know I can always cut them down in size uh, you know it's harder to make them bigger you know but I can easily just take an exacto and just make them smaller and and see what happens so so right now you know they're they're pretty big um, and and I had issue I've had issues before I've talked about this with getting enough strength you know you have a control surface you know that's a big big piece of foam. And it just kind of gets it to be a little bit uh, fle too flexible. So what I did is uh, this is uh, shipping tape, you know, clear, 
and I just I just wrapped it around and it, I don't know you probably cannot see it but I wrapped it around this way and I wrapped it around you know the other way and it really seemed to make a big difference as far as stiffening it up and of course you know a, a square shape also helps with the strength you know I cut the corners off just to give it a little bit more shape so it actually seems to be uh, stiff enough you know that's a huge control surface you know this is this is a five gram servo so it doesn't have a lot of strength but it's a slow flying airplane so it probably be okay you know again you know I just, I just have to try it out I rounded rounded the leading edge of, of both wings uh, put some velcro on here so last last time when I was doing the the first prototype I, I had run out I either run out or couldn't find my velcro so I got some more put it on here um, you know simple receiver speed, 10 amp speed control you, you know this is a, a blue wonder motor so I think oh and, 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 and this, of course the, the huge problem with the first prototype was the CG and this one uh, as far as what I've learned from from this small one the CG is like right on the money uh, you know it's just a little bit behind this is this is where I'm holding it so it's a little bit behind this slot in fact it's just about where the motor is and, and I love that because you know uh, you know the battery and the motor are the, are the two heaviest items on, on the airplane so if the motor is right on the CG that's gonna help it make it more maneuverable because you, you have the center of inertia in, in the middle of the airplane so I really like that um, so so the CG is great look at what the battery is you know I, I may have a little bit of trouble pushing it back some but definitely there's a lot of room for it to go forward uh, I just have to, again just have to try it and see you know um, I, I suspect that it's got a decent uh, CG range that I can use so I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming I'll, I'm going to be okay you know with being able to move the battery otherwise you know then I can just make this slot a little bit smaller so then the motor can be a little bit further back and the battery can be a little further back and then that will get the CG you know a little bit more towards the tail um, as far as strength Again, this this square dial from wingtip to, to wingtip, I think that worked great. I had the leading edge dial, and this is something that I think I'm going to change because I almost always use a one eighth inch um, round dial on the leading edge, but I, I think I'm thinking of using three sixteenth because that's really where all this strength is coming from. You know, there is no central spar here in the middle. You know, so all this strength is coming from these dowels. And I've got 316 round dowels, and they're quite a bit stiffer. Weight difference is not a lot, and you know, weight-wise, I'm doing great anyway. So that's that's I think a change that I think I might make. Um, these control surfaces, you know, just have to see. This is a a little bit a little bit weak here. You know, there's there's quite a bit of give, but you know, there's nothing back there. So you know, it's, and, and and this part is right here. So this is pretty strong. So you just have you know, just have to see. I think it might be okay. Uh, this it has a little bit of give, you know, back and forth. But um, I don't know. I think I think it's okay because you know the, this is here and that's holding it in place. So I don't know. I think that might be okay also. Uh, I am tempted to make make this this shorter. So then this is further back. So then, you know, this might just be like one inch. Uh, you know, right now I think it's two and a half. So if I make it just like one inch, you know, plus plus that, then this can be back here, and, it, and then the whole thing will be stronger. So I think that's another change I might make. The only the only reason why I put this here is because this is from a 24 inch, so I cut it in half. So this is 12. So you know, but they don't they don't cost much. It's like 50 cents for that 24 inch piece of wood. And in fact, I just bought a big package of, I think it's five of them for like two bucks. Um, so I got a, I got a nice discount on that. So, you know, I mean, there, there are tweaks that I can make, some changes here and there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you know, you know, and, and given, given how well this one flew, and I, I, I threw this around a lot just to you know really test it and see what it was gonna do I think it might it might just be fine you know I may, I, I may end up putting a rudder there but I just don't know if that I need it um, otherwise you know the design you know really 
I mean, this, the shape of this changed just because I needed to have the elements there. Um, I, there's a very good chance I'm going to end up making them smaller, but you know, let's just see what happens. So anyway, uh, it's ready to go. You know, the wind is not as bad as predicted, so I may, I may go out in a few minutes and, and fly it. Um, so, you know, I'm very excited. Let's see what happens.